This is nice. This is great. Yeah, great spell. Hmm. It's like there's all these awful things going on out there, like Tom dying and Bob getting arrested and animals, you know, animals getting sick. But in here, everything's perfect. <clears throat> what are the reasons you want to marry me? You got all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the top three. You're gorgeous, you're funny, you're full of life, you're amazingly strong. That's four. Right. Here's a puzzle for you. Why do you want to marry me? Easy. The parties. Engagement party tomorrow, the wedding, the presents, that's it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that and the fact that you are a really special bloke. <laughs> I woke up this morning and he wasn't there and I haven't seen him since. Well, maybe he wanted a bit of space. He's not supposed to want space. He's supposed to want to turn to his wife for support. He's got a lot on his mind. Hasn't he, Jamie? You're worried as well, aren't you? I can tell. Right, I'll go and look for him then. See you later. Never mind, see you later. I'm going to shut up shop. I'm coming with you. I'll get my coat. Val, pass me the shears, please. No, listen, you two. David, a word. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. I was just hoping for a little chat, actually. Um, I suppose you must be finding things a little bit tedious, uh, kicking around here, doing jobs that, frankly, are, uh, are unworthy of you. No. Keeps me busy. It's a good way to get to know you. Ah. Well, I have to say, I am enjoying very much having my son on the premises. Good. Um, I am concerned a little bit about your future. Um, have you thought any more about what you plan to do with your inheritance? Mm. I've always fancied an indoor swimming pool. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Money is not your first priority, neither is it mine. Want to see Inspector Barraclough? Name? Bob Hope. It's about the murder of Tom King. There's something I need to tell her. Oh, not now. Pies, pastry oven. On my way to see the social worker. I can't talk. OK. Unless, of course, you've come to tell me that your hilarious little misunderstanding with Tony's all cleared up. No, no. Oh, in which case? <laughs> I thought you didn't have time. I'm intrigued. Right, uh, I would like you, please, Marlon, uh, to do me the honour... I'm not going to marry you. <laughs> I would like you, please, Marlon, uh, to do me the honour... I'm not going to marry you. Will you stop it, please? I mean, uh, shut up. This is serious, thank you. Uh, I would like you, please, Marlon, to do me the honour... I'm honor not going to marry you! ..of being my best man. I would be delighted to be your best man. Great. If, if I thought you actually wanted to get married... I do. Do you love her? Yeah, of course I love her. Well, yeah, there's love, and then there's love. What? Isn't there? What does that mean? Has she said she loves you? Yeah, of course she has. Yeah, what, what do you mean there's love and there's love and there's love? What are you on about? OK, first of all... Actually, I really don't care. No, but I, no, I think stop. you... Stop. No, stop. I, I, stop, I just, stop, I just, stop, 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 stop. Have you stopped? Really? Because we I... both know how you got on and I've on stopped. and on. I genuinely, I, 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 I genuinely... And I really... Roll on! Sorry. I, 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 I've really... Serious feelings for her. And if it's not love, then it's, it's a lot like it. And I'm lucky to have found her. And who knows if I'll ever get that slap in your face and knock you over sort of love ever again. So why shouldn't I take what I can get? Because... It's a rhetorical question. Right. It's a rhetorical question, Marlon. You're my best mate, so you'd be my best man. And that's... No, no, it, that's the end of the discussion. It's finished. I don't like having to lie. Then maybe we should tell her. Well, no, I don't think it's that simple. Why not? Well, because of everything she's been through lately. You're pregnant. Jasper's going to have to find out before too long. I know. I just don't know how she's going to take it. 
Actually, I like sensitive, funny, and intelligent. And gorgeous. Not necessarily. Oh, we all say that. But we all like a good-looking man, isn't that true? Oh, I think the evidence speaks for itself. So the point is, get yourself back on the net and get yourself some totty. This is all her idea, nothing to do with me. Well, I know it hasn't been great so far, but you've got to keep trying. I've got better things to do with my time. Like what? You haven't met someone, have you? You have. That's what you've been up to. Uh, I really couldn't say. Well, you might have told me. Didn't realise I had to keep you posted on developments in my love life. Now run along and let me work. Is this true? Complete fiction, but please don't tell her. <laughs> Have you seen him? Who? Oh. My dad. Has he been in? Well, no, but I thought, given the circumstances, he'd decided to stay at all. No, no, he's not at home. All right, let's not panic. Why shouldn't I panic? I can panic if I want to. He's run off and left me, hasn't he? Well, I'm not surprised there, then. Look, even his son isn't leaping to his defence. It's Jamie! Sorry, sorry. Got held up with a, a lot of pies and a small, slightly strange conversation with Paddy. Hiya, it's Paddy, my friend. He was a foster dad himself once. Anyways, long story. Oh, sit down. Stop going on. Yeah, sorry. That's what Paddy said about me going on. It must be true then. <laughs> sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Claire's just arrived. Mm. It's fine. <clears throat> so what's the news then? It's not going to be straightforward. Well. We didn't think it would be, but we are going to get them back, aren't we? Donald, let's just hear what she has to say. You're going to tell us that we're not getting them back, aren't you? Let's slow down, shall we? Any chance of a cup of tea? Can you confirm for the tape that you have chosen not to have a solicitor present? Yes, that's right, yes. I don't, I don't need a solicitor. So what's this new information you have for us, Mr Hope? Have you remembered something about what happened at Home Farm? Yes. No, um, not really remembered. So there is something you didn't tell us before? Yes. I, I couldn't tell you everything before. Well, I mean, I, I didn't tell you everything before. And I've decided to do the right thing. Are you here to tell us how Tom King died? In your own time, Bob. I killed him. I killed Tom King. I did it. My officers are taking a statement as we speak. I expect him to be charged later today. Unbelievable. Thank you, Charles, for telling us so promptly. Um, where are you going? They won't know yet, will they? Viv? Jamie? Carl, please, remember you've already had a caution. I don't care. I want to be the one to tell Jamie that his precious dad's a filthy murderer. Because of your history with children, we'll need to assess your suitability before they can be returned to you. Um, assessors, what, what, what does that mean? They want to be with us, that's all you need to know. We'll have to discuss your financial situation, your support network and your home environment. Well, we've got some money, we've got family, we're, we're going to have a house. In the meantime, the children can visit you. Right, good. They can come once a week for a few hours, but the visits will be supervised. Why? Why can't you just trust us? Once a week. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, soon can we have our first visit, because we're dying to see them. We're dying to see them, we really are. It'll be at least a month, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to disappoint you. These things take time. But I'll be in touch soon. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for the tea. We're never going to get them back. No, we are. We've just got to convince social services somehow that we are going to be the perfect carers. Um, I'm a bit busy. <laughs> OK, I'll come back. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's all right. It's only work. I can wait. Uh, 
What can I do you for? I don't know. What can I do for you? Um, I was thinking about what you were saying before. About the money from my inheritance. Oh, oh yeah. But I thought we agreed it wasn't really appropriate yeah. to discuss. That. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I know money's not a high priority to you, but you are an experienced businessman. Yeah, David, and David, I really so. Do. I would value your advice. Uh, whether I take it or not, well, that's up to me, isn't it? <laughs> You are a very persuasive young man. All right. Very briefly, sit down. A lot of our customers are always complaining about the uh, the state of their existing upholstery, and uh, I've been thinking about um, creating a new company. Mm. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, well, I think so. I just need to find a business partner I can rely on and some uh, starting capital. <laughs> this is not supposed to sound like a sales pitch. No. Um... <laughs> If you've got any paperwork, I would like to have a look. Yeah. If you insist, I'll uh, see what I can draw up. Good. Thanks very much. Hmm. I'm really grateful. Hey, hey, hey. My pleasure. I was at the house and I was angry. I was, I was just angry and I wanted to confront him. I mean, why, why should he be so happy when my daughter was dead? He was responsible for killing her. That is a fact. Please just tell us what happened. I am telling you, I'm telling you why I was so angry before I even saw him. What happened when you saw him? He took the mick. It, it didn't take me seriously at all. He said that I should leave and he, he was laughing at me. Have you any idea how that felt? Go on. So I wanted to show him that I wasn't a coward. So I shoved him. Yes. He went out to the window. You pushed him? Yeah, it wasn't deliberate. You pushed him out of the window? Yes, I did. Thank you. Let's get a statement, shall we? Still switched off. You're gonna be fine, Mum. You got me and Donna. You're better off without him. How could he do this to me? Hey! I thought I'd let myself in. Where's Bob? Not here. Dear me, I wonder where he could be. What do you want? I've got some news. I wanted to be the first to tell you. What is it? Bob's at the police station. He wasn't arrested. He just turned up. What's he said? Oh, I've got your attention now, I'm Yes, you yeah, have. Yeah, what's he said? He confessed to being the scumbag right. who murdered my dad. He didn't! Well, call the cops. Find out for yourself. Mum, wait. Mom! Hey, you two coming to my party? It's a party too. Weddings are bigger than birthdays. Well, I don't know if technically an engagement is bigger than the 21st, though. Yeah, well, I don't care if you call it Donna's party or my party. I just don't want to see sad faces. We'll be radiant a pint and a glass of wine, please, when you're ready. I'll get it. Would I be right in thinking you're getting excited? <gasps> totally. We'll have to talk food then, eh? <laughs> and music and decorations. And don't forget to tell the press. Be front page news. Oh, aren't you a jealous little girl? We are talking about Paddy, right? And don't even start on him. OK. Well, tell me something interesting about him. Oh, you can't, can you? Button at you. <laughs> she doesn't like nice blocks. <laughs> oh, well done. You've hooked yourself a nice bloke. No wonder you're so excited. Right, right. We can't sit round moping for the next month while we're waiting to see him. So... No, you're right. So what are we going to do? Dunno. Wah! Wrong answer. <laughs> I shall be saving up for our house and I know exactly what you should do. You should go on your training course. I don't really feel like it. Aha! Uh -huh. What? You don't really feel like it? So you're not totally against the idea anymore? This is your dream, Donna. You can't let one bad experience put you off. They need more people like you. Maybe. Plus, it'll take your mind off the kids. Plus, it'll look good to social services. How can they not trust a copper? That's true. It's gonna work. It has to. What have you done with him? Sorry? My husband, Bob Hope. What have you done with him? Your name, please. Vivian Hope. And if you've hurt him, I'll sue you. I'll sue everyone here. Mrs Hope? I want to see him. You've tricked him or something. He wouldn't kill anyone. He wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm sorry, Mrs Hope, but your husband came to us of his own accord and he confessed to the murder of Tom King. 
Sit down, Jasmine. Why? What's up? We, we've got something to tell you. Is this about this morning? You're really ill, aren't you? I knew it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not ill. I'm not ill. You promise? I promise. Laurel is the opposite of ill. Um, well, what Ashley's trying to say, what we're both trying to say, is that I'm pregnant. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh! Oh! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, it's fantastic! <laughs> I've been waiting patiently all day for you, Odell, to come to me and draw upon my vast reserves of compassion and experience to sort out whatever is wrong. I just... Oh, something happened and I now see Dell in a slightly different light. Yeah? Don't know what you're talking about, pet. Well, that's about as clear as I want to be. All I know is Dell is fab. She's like I was at her age, only nicer. And smaller, obviously. And not quite as good looking. But what I mean is, if you let her go, you are mad. OK. Thanks. What are you smoking about? <laughs> it's so sad when young love goes astray. If I found out you've got anything to do with this... <laughs> I haven't. But I can't pretend to be sorry that David is extricating himself from the Dingle family. Especially as he might be my future business partner. You what? Hmm. Negotiations are underway. What would never kill someone, would he? I don't know. Where are you going? To see Jimmy. It's nice to know where your lot is like. Thanks very much. How are you? I'm bored. Company's been limited. Scott's miserable. And Kelly's been, well, Kelly. Oh, dear. Apparently he's got a new boyfriend. Really? So I hear. He was with him the other day. Why are you telling me this? Just passing on the village gossip. No, let me try that again. Why are you telling me this? I was wondering. Wondering if I might be that boyfriend. Oh, great. It's an absurd suggestion. Do you really have so little faith in me? Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, sometimes I get insecure. I don't know why. Do you really think I'd do something like that to you? I don't know what to think. Well, think that I love you and I would never do anything to hurt you. All right. I'm simply asking you to believe in me. So Marlon was going to lay on a bit of grub for Donna's birthday anyway. But is there anything in particular you'd like? Oh, you know, party stuff. Right. Green rabbit jelly fairy cakes and twiglets it is, then. You are? I was just trying to get a rise out of you. What happened to the girlish joie de vivre from earlier? Marriage. Makes you think, doesn't it? Is this anything to do with Kelly? No. Maybe. Oh, this all happened so quick. And if I'm honest, Paddy's not the kind of guy I thought I'd end up with. What's your heart telling you, Tony? It's telling me that no one's ever treated me the way that Paddy does. No one. Ever. And I could wait a lifetime for Mr. Perfect. And here's this lovely guy that loves me. Makes me laugh. Makes me happy. And if I want anything more than that, then I'm just being selfish. Right. Jelly it is, then. You've read it over? Yes. Satisfied with every detail? Yes. Then if you'd sign it, please. That man killed my daughter. We understand. A beautiful girl. He killed her and he devastated my family. 
I'm not sorry that he's dead. I'm only sorry for the trouble that it's caused. That, that's all. Please sign the statement, Bob. You're not being very helpful, Jamie. Sorry. I know you're in shock, we all are. But I really need to know if you think it's true. No. What? No, of course I don't. You know, Dad didn't kill him, he couldn't have. Robert Reginald Hope, you are charged that on Monday, the 25th of December 2006, at Home Farm in Emmerdale, you did murder Thomas Albert King contrary to common law. Date in the stories featured previously on tonight with Trevor McDonald next. Then at half eight, Frankie is worried about Jamie and Corey. And later at nine, a life that's hardly black and white. It's the one and only Michael Jackson. Be there.